Hey Gypsies, welcome back to my channel. And I just got out of Dollar General, so I thought since I spent 60 some dollars in there when all I went for was bread, I'm like, I better do a haul on that just for the heck of it. So let's get started, okay? Um, let me just get this. Let me just get this. Um, yeah, I think I'm not even hungry. I don't know. Um, the Cadbury milk chocolate is i think to me the best chocolate on the planet like even above hershey's i love the cadbury and look at this one rock the road baby <laughs> instead of rocky road rock the road i thought let me give it a whirl i don't know i guess it has almonds and marshmallows in it so yeah i went ahead and got it not only is it the best chocolate but it's one of the most expensive for some odd reason and then this right here is a Christmas tradition. Like every year, we always get at least one pack of these. We'll pass them around and everybody will get like one of them. That way nobody overeats. But they're so, so good, guys. Old-fashioned vanilla cream drops. And they're so good. So everybody will be glad to see those because that's definitely a tradition and then i was needing some shampoo and conditioner and i saw this and i'm like that looks pretty good i've never tried it before it was like six dollars each which i saw more expensive in there but i also saw cheaper but you know uh, i haven't bought me any really good shampoo and conditioner in a while so honestly six dollars each compared to what my daughter spends for shampoo and conditioner is good. Um, it's the Yes Honey, and it just says with coconut oil, which is always good, um, silky smooth, and I smelled it in the store, and they both smell amazing. So I got the shampoo and the conditioner. I love Dollar General, honestly. I always did before I, I um, it was my favorite place before Dollar Tree was, invented i don't know if it was invented but yeah um i was super thirsty in there and i love trying out all of the mountain dew drinks so this right here is a mountain dew live wire and it says sparked with artificial orange flavor so we're gonna give it a whirl i mean it's probably just orange pop taste but honestly i'm super thirsty and it's gonna be good and you know that burn that you love when you're really super thirsty, yeah, we're going to give it a whirl. Ah, oh, the burn that makes your eyes water. So good. Okay, there's that bag. Now, I got a couple little Christmas gifts up in there. Don't discount Dollar General for Christmas gifts, okay? They have a ton of cool things, and... Let me show you a couple of the things I found. Number one, I was wanting to get Sophie some socks. Um, she's nine months old. Um, I found this pack for $5 and it's 12 to 24 months old. But she's a big baby for her age. So you get all of these socks for $5 at six different pair, all different colors. There's a little lavender pair in there. You can barely see them. So I went ahead and got those. It's the Swiggies brand, which is the cutest name on the planet. So I grabbed those for her. And then also, I don't have a ton of toys for her. Now, they did have a pretty little white and pink unicorn like this. And I didn't get it because I'm like, you know, uh, I love the owl. And the unicorn will get dirty a lot faster. So I went ahead and got the owl. I am going to save this for her Christmas. It was five bucks. It's a doll teether they're called a doll teether these little things she just got two more teeth on the top so she has four little teeth teethers now and she's just so cute um but anyway i love the owl it was super cute and then i got her these pjs so these are the 12 month pjs which that's these are going to be perfect for her it is the tight fit pajamas and i just love they were five dollars and i just love the print it's super cute. Yeah, I should have got the toy to match, but it doesn't really matter because I'm planning on keeping the toy at my house anyway. So, you know. And then my son was with me. And have you guys ever heard of Turkish Delights? I had not heard of them till probably last year or it's been a couple years uh, because it was in that movie, um, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which had another name too. 
but I can't think of it. But they had Turkish delights. Like that boy was crazy about Turkish delights and the witch got him lured in through Turkish delights. But anyway, I saw some in TJ Maxx one day and I'm like, Turkish delights? I didn't even know it was a real thing. And then um, we bought some and tried it. It was different. Um, so we went ahead. Well, when, I, when we saw this, I showed Jeremy and he's like, can we get these, please? So I said, sure. So these are holiday delights. It doesn't say Turkish delights. Holiday delights. It says soft fruit and nut candies. And there's what they look like. So we're going to give those a whirl just to see how they are. Just for the heck of it, right? And then he was with me and he's like, Mom, these are my favorite candy of all times. And I'm like, you want them? I'll get them. And he's like, no. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm getting them and you'll probably find them in your stocking. So just act like you don't know where they came from. So he loves these. I don't know. There was just little cheap old things. I like a dollar or something. So I am said, okay. I said, okay, I'll get them. Okay. And then for my hubby, he's not home yet. So I'm going to whip this out really quick. Uh, 10 bucks for this handy bright light. Are you ready? 10 bucks he's crazy about flashlights and stuff this is going to be so perfect for his christmas gift omg i just got two huge boxes wait a minute maybe more you ups man's going back no he's leaving hold on are those for me but they're both not is it? Okay. All right. Only one's for me. The other one's Fifi's. Um, but anyway, I got that for my hubby and I got to keep that hid so he don't see it. Um, and then we got one more bag. Uh, how do you know? That's what the reason I went in was for the loaf of bread, which I got. I got the cheapest loaf. And let me just tell you why. This is for grilled cheese. Tonight is grilled cheese and tomato soup night. My son said he would make dinner, which means the whole world to me because I, for, for some reason here lately, have not been wanting to cook. I don't know, um, but he's going to make dinner. <laughs> so needless to say, we've been eating a lot of McDonald's and stuff here lately, which is not good. I don't know. Um, and then this is a Christmas tradition. Sometimes we actually wait too late to get these. Um, but this is the Terry's chocolate oranges. And both of my boys, Jeremy and Josh, and my hubby love these. So it's the kind you bake. Now, they do have a name brand kind. Um, but I guess they just don't have them at Dollar General. But these right here... They're, they are good. My hubby usually shares his with me. You bang them one time or something like that, and then you open it, and it's like orange slices. They're beautiful. They're fabulous. If you guys have never had one, they're so good. Now, if I was a kid, I would have hated these, because can you remember having a box of chocolates and biting the corner off to see what was inside? Let me just say, if there was orange inside any of those chocolates or pink, they got put back and put back fast, okay? I wasn't all about that orange, but now that's the colors I look for. It's so funny how you change when you get older. And then last thing I got was this right here, some air freshener for the car. This is the California Scents Coronado Cherry. I love the Coronado Cherry. I think it smells fabulous. And I just thought my car could use a little bit of it. So I'm going to spray a little oh it smells amazing let me just say it smells so good so we're going to keep that out so before i pick anybody up i can spray my car down and they're gonna be like girl like car smells so good so i'm finishing that off from earlier okay all right guys that is my dollar general haul i hope y'all enjoyed it definitely not something i typically do but i haven't even been to dollar general in so long unless it's to run in and get peanut butter. So I thought, why not do a haul? Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Until next time, bye!